today's video, I'm going to be sharing my Sephora VIB sale recommendations. Every, well actually twice a year, this amazing time comes around where we get discounts from Sephora, which never happens usually. So uh, this is the spring sale, which always happens in April. There's also one in November or December. Um, and I always like to do these videos just to kind of share my recommendations with you guys. So on the 13th is the first day of the Sephora VIB Rouge sale. So VIB Rouge and if I'm not mistaken, maybe VIB as well, but they get the 13th to the 16th to shop the sale before um, like the Beauty Insiders and everyone else. And then the Beauty Insider sale opens from the 20th to the 23rd. So just keep those dates in mind. If you aren't uh, subscribed to my channel yet, I'd really appreciate it. If you did subscribe down below, join the fam and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it and would like to see like what I pick up from the sale. I am gonna do a little bit of shopping. Also all the products that I do recommend, I'm gonna have linked down below so that you can just click through and head on over to Sephora and start your shopping. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with skincare because I don't actually have too much skincare. Um, so the first couple products are actually products that I picked up on the last VIB sale and I love them so much. I really want to share them with you guys. The first one is the uh, Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. This is a pretty penny. It is very expensive. Um, but I love picking it up during the sale because you do get that. Oh, by the way, it's 15% off in the spring and then VIB Rouge usually gets 20% off in um, the, the winter. But I love this serum. I don't want to talk too much about it because I do go on and on about it in um, my other skincare videos. So if you want to see my skincare routine, I will have it linked over here or over here, wherever that card is. Um, but I really, really love this. It is basically a chemical exfoliant. So it is quite harsh but it works like it is so good it has like cleared the texture on my skin anytime i stop using this like i actually notice the texture coming back so i love this i would highly recommend it if you guys were thinking of picking it up also if there's anything else um skincare wise that you were ever thinking of picking up now is the time to do it because you do get that sale and uh, that percentage off so i love all drunk elephant skincare honestly i haven't tried a product from drunk elephant that i didn't really enjoy so this one's an A1 in my book. And then also this is the Biosans Squalene Vitamin C Rose Oil. This is my favorite facial oil. And they actually just recently launched in Canada. They did have it on Sephora Canada, but now they actually have it like in stores. It says it brightens, firms, evens skin tone and texture. And it's made with plant-derived squalene, which is, squalene is like, the closest oil you can get to the natural oils your skin produces. Um, so that's why I love this so much. It really hydrates the skin and it does actually brighten. So I like using this as my nighttime oil and sometimes during the day as well. Moving on, I have an eye cream. This is by Belief. It is their moisturizing eye balm. I'm not sure if they sell Belief um, in Sephora Canada, but I know they sell them at the face shop. Um, but I know they have them in Sephora US. This has honestly saved my eyes. I really, really love this. My under eyes can sometimes get really, really dry. And at one point I even had eczema. And this, like, amazing. So great. I even recommended this to someone on Instagram. And uh, she went and bought it and she literally like messaged me back saying, oh my God, thank you so much for recommending that because it has saved her eyes. Um, so I really love this basically. It looks like you get a lot of product in here. So even if it is expensive, like you get a ton. I still have like, I keep one upstairs and one downstairs and I still have like a ton left in my other one. And I've used that for like almost six months now. With the summer quickly approaching, I definitely had to give you guys a recommendation for SPF. So this is the Lancome Bien Fe UV SPF 50. Um, and it has a bunch of other names, but basically it's it's a really great SPF. I find it doesn't give me that purpley hue. It's also not very greasy on the skin. Like I can wear this on days where I'm not wearing makeup and my face will be like pretty much matte. Like it's not gonna be like greasy or anything. It doesn't feel gross on the face. I'm still kind of on the quest for the perfect sunscreen, but this is definitely doing it for me right now. Um, but when I do find like the perfect at least like top five sunscreens. I'm gonna do a video on that very soon, probably sometime this summer, but this one's really great in case you are wondering. Um, this has been the SPF that I've been using. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And I picked this up, um, actually I got a sample of it at Sephora. They always get me with their freaking samples. I had like a little sample of it and I finished the entire thing and I loved it so much I went out and bought it. Um, I still have like quite a bit of this left in here. Um, but I'm buying another one because I literally have to have this in every room like when it's down in the basement Sometimes I'm too lazy to get it if I'm in my office So I'm literally gonna buy another one during the sale since it's on sale and Keep one in my office and then one in my bedroom. So I love this sleeping mask 
if my lips are literally like crusty to the point where they look like flaky I put this on and honestly it just like takes it all off I don't know what's in this but it's amazing I know it's a lip sleeping mask but I use this at all times of the day um, and I like it so yeah this kind of falls into skincare um, this is the vitamin enriched face face by Bobbi Brown I don't even know why I looked at the title because I use this so much you can I don't know if you'll be able to see but it's oh, it smells so good but it's pretty much almost done that is how much I love this I've had this for a while so it does last a long time it is a pretty penny guys it is very expensive um, but again you're getting a percentage off actually Bobbi Brown was having their friends and family sale it might still be going on by the time you guys are watching this video, if you're watching it on the day it's uploaded. It might still be going on, so you can get 25% on bobbybrown.com. It is like a skincare product, but you can use it as a base for your makeup, so that's kind of what I usually do. Um, sometimes even when I'm not wearing makeup and my face just feels really dry, I will put this on and it just like instantly plumps the skin. It has like... Um, it's vitamin enriched, so it has like vitamin E, I think. It has shea butter, um, and it smells like citrus. Like it smells so freaking good i love this stuff i have two foundations to share with you guys the first one is this nars foundation this is their newest uh what's it called natural radiant longwear foundation yeah natural Light radiant longwear foundation i wear the shade macau i love this foundation now only a specific way that i wear it though so i okay the second whoa You're that so just flung it didn't break. i know that literally just flung across the room don't hold it by the top guys but anyways i love this foundation because it literally looks airbrushed on the skin the only i don't wear this around my mouth so i actually wear it this foundation was a, which is another one that I wanted to recommend to you guys. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. So this one's more of a mattifying formula and I find it lasts a lot longer. So I place this around my mouth and then I place the NARS everywhere else on my skin because I don't know what is in this, but it literally makes your skin look like face tuned in real life. Like it is amazing. It just, anytime I wear this, everyone is like your face looks poreless it looks flawless so that is like my concoction always about bobby brown around my mouth and like kind of on the nose where i normally break up and then the uh natural radiant longwear all over the skin so the two shades that i use for the bobby brown um i use warm almond and then also golden almond i could get away with warm almond when i have like an like absolutely no tan um but for the most part i like to mix both of these now i know unfortunately all the shades aren't available on sephora uh, canada yet they will be launching in july i believe but in the sephora us they have all the shades so i believe they have golden almond though on sephora.ca so if you are happen to be golden uh, almond i would pick this up but it's gonna be worth the wait for all my Canadians, I promise you. It's like my favorite foundation. I have kind of like a primer water type thing to share with you guys. I guess this could kind of be skincare as well. But this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And as you can see, like I am almost out of this thing. I love this. I don't know. For a while I was like, this is such a gimmick. It literally just looks like water, but it just feels so nice on the skin. I really like this sprayer, like when it decides to work. Like... It has such a nice spray and it just like instantly refreshes the skin. It smells like citrus. Like I just really, really like this primer. So if you're thinking of getting this, I would recommend it. Smashbox is known for having a lot of silicones in their primers, um, especially the ones that they're most famous for. I'm kind of allergic to those. Like my skin does not like it, but this is silicone free. It's alcohol free and oil free in case you were ever wondering. So I do really like this. Moving on to brows. I feel like it's always a good idea to stock up on all your brow stuff during these sales because you're always going to need them. I run through my brow products so I always try to pick a couple up um, during the sale. So the first one I have to recommend is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. In the past I was always using brow gels that had color to them and I feel like it kind of just made my brows look muddy uh, but this doesn't. It's just it's completely clear and it just looks so good. Like it rakes them up, it like just holds them in place all day and it just makes my brows look on fleek. And then I've been using a new brow pencil lately. I've been trying to replace my Tarte waterproof brow pencil because I love that stuff. But I'm trying to stay away from Tarte. Um, but this is the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. And I use the shade number four. Um, I personally like using brow pencils that are a little lighter than my natural hair color. So number four works perfect for me. I find it's super, super thin. The spoolie on it is really nice as well. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And a lot of you guys recommended that I try this for good reason. It 
it is amazing like it truly is and I like using this on both days that I want to go for full coverage and then also on days where I don't want to really wear that much foundation or concealer I will just like tap my finger into this and just dab it on and it instantly gets rid of like my dark circles but it doesn't look like there's makeup on the skin like it looks very natural so I use the shade um, Amand for the most part and then I also sometimes go on with caramel like if I'm doing more of a highlighted look um, but Amand is the one that I normally go for it's like the exact same color as my skin tone and it cancels out the darkness really nicely it doesn't feel thick and this is the only concealer I actually enjoy applying with my finger rather than a brush so it does work with the beauty blender but I do actually like warming it up with my fingers okay now moving on to bronzer which is my favorite I have two bronzers to share with you guys the first one is one that I actually just recently got into my collection this is the Guerlain terracotta bronzer so many of you guys recommended this to me after I did like my top five bronzers for deeper skin tone video so many people were like how could you leave out the Guerlain terracotta so I was like okay I need to try this um, I use the shade number nine intense I thought I was gonna be number seven but it was a little too light for me I actually gave that to Shaht and um, she really likes it as well um, I'm not a fan of the smell like it kind of smells like old lady powder like I don't even know what that means like just smell it like what is that s I can't pinpoint what it smells like it's like like baby powdery you know like that deodorant that yeah deodorant yeah, yeah 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 the baby powdery deodorant smell what? like I don't know why they make a bronzer that smells like that it doesn't smell bad but it's just not the best um, but I love this bronzer it's pretty much matte but it has like just very very slight light reflecting beads in there it barely shows up on the skin but it just adds a really nice warmth and glow um, I'm wearing it today and I just really like this bronzer so this has been my fave lately I still really love my Bobbi Brown one but I feel like I have to talk about something other than the Bobbi Brown one because I literally talk your ears off about that um, but the other bronzer I have to give an honorable mention to the Anastasia powder bronzer and um, I when I first saw this, I was kind of mad because I <laughs> so I was just like casually filming me on the side. No big deal. <laughs> but yeah, this is the ABH bronzer in mahogany. I didn't think these were going to run as dark as they do, but they really run dark. Like it doesn't look super dark in the pan, but it shows up like a contour color on me. So I actually picked up um, cappuccino as well. My friend Liv gave that to me. So shout out to you, Liv. Um, but I find both cappuccino and mahogany work for me in case you guys are a similar skin tone to me If you're slightly deeper, I would go with mahogany if you are my shade or a slightly lighter I would go with cappuccino. Um, it is very very pigmented So I would be very uh, weary of that try not to put too much on your brush This is the Too Faced born this way powder I stopped using this for a while because I wanted to give my other powders a try But I went back to it and I just I don't know why I ever stopped This is my favorite under eye setting powder if you guys ever wondered I'm wearing it today Day. it doesn't look ashy on the skin it's so finely milled and it it honestly adds like a glow and a brightness to the skin um, to the under eyes or wherever you put it and it doesn't cause flashback for me personally I just really like it it kind of has like a yellow tinge to it as well I think they did a great job with this so if you're thinking of picking this up I would recommend it okay I have one highlight to share with you guys and I'm gonna just I'm gonna just give y'all a second to guess what it is yes it's Bobbi Brown bronze glow <laughs> I I just I don't even know what to say to you guys anymore like like you can just see how much I use this stuff like literally the sides are stained gold that's how much I love this I don't think I've ever run or used a highlighter more than I've used this one and for good reason I mean I'm wearing it today I find you could really build this up or you could build it down you can make it super blinding or if you're going for a no makeup day just kind of lightly wash it across the cheeks and it just gives a beautiful glow absolutely love it again they are having their friends and family sale right now if you're watching this as soon as I'm posting it so you can get 25% off all Bobbi Brown um, products on their website bobbybrown.com okay so I have two eyeshadow palettes to share with you guys this one I have seriously not put it down since I got it and I mean you could probably tell it's filthy it's literally so dirty <laughs> it's so nasty I don't even know like this is disgusting but it's even worse inside like look at this Inside oh cat. my god like I have used this so much there's literally a dent in my favorite shade called burnt orange I don't even know if you'll be able to see it right over here they did such a great job with this palette this is my first ABH palette that I ever bought and 
I just, I love it so much. I love that it has a mirror and I think it's just, it's perfect for travel because I don't have to take any other shadows with me. It has everything I need. It has a matte black, it has a really deep cranberry, it has a dark brown, it has a gold, it has a rose gold. Like it literally has every shade I could possibly need in one palette. So shout out to you Norvina for doing that because you did the damn thing. It's so, so good. Please do yourself a favor and pick this up. It is my favorite ever. That's a big statement, but I honestly really love it. Um, and then the second eyeshadow palette is actually a new one from Too Faced. They recently revamped all of the natural matte collection or the natural collection or whatever it's called. Um, but this is the matte one and I've really been liking this for just doing like super simple matte eyes. I wore it in this photo over here. So that's kind of like the, um, the shadow that I was using for that. And it's just so good. My favorite shade is definitely Au Naturel. I like to use that all over the eyes and then hook up. The shadows are really creamy, blendable, etc., etc. I want to do a look with this very soon. I might do it on my Instagram. And there may actually be a giveaway, actually, on the entire collection. So, just saying, if you ain't following me yet, <laughs> Now's the time. Now for the lashes, I have the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. Um, I have really liked this. I don't know, I feel like people had mixed reviews on it, but I personally really, really like it. And I find it does get a little clumpy at first, but you just gotta keep working. And this makes your lashes look so incredibly long and thick. Like, it is insane. I like it, I like it a lot, so. Definitely a great mascara to pick up during this time. And then also on the theme of lashes, this is the Grande Lash MD. I've talked about this on my channel so much. I just recently picked up a new one while I was in LA. I literally noticed a difference from when I stopped using it um, because my lashes were so long at one point and then they just got short again. Like now I just have basic ass lashes. So I learned my lesson, not gonna go without it. I literally bought two backups, so Let's do this, round two. I actually was pretty good. I narrowed the lips down to only four. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is one that I have worn to death on my channel. This, or actually not on my channel, in real life, on my channel, on my Instagram. Anytime you've seen me wearing a red in the past like mm, two, three months, it has been this one. This is the Stila Beso. their Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. And I find this is the perfect Red. I love it so much. It reminds me of the Sun -a Lip Paint uh, by Fenty Beauty. It's essentially the exact same shade, but I find this actually lasts all day. That one kind of smears, so I like to wear this a little more. And then I have a couple nudes over here. So actually, all of Smashbox Always On liquid lipsticks I love, but especially their nude collection. So they launched a bunch of nudes. And so these are my top two. This one is called Deep Thoughts, and I've worn this a lot on my channel. Basically, it is like a a deep sort of mauvey brown. And then I have this one, which on days where I wanna go for a lighter nude color, um, this is called Stay Neutral and it's a neutral brown. So um, I don't wear lip liners with this. I find the tip is really nice to get a precise line. They also have deeper ones, lighter ones, depending on your skin tone. So love these. I would definitely recommend picking up at least one. This is the Buxom, this is their newest uh, Baba Plump release. And basically it's like a liquefied lipstick and it's super pigmented. Like it's not those ones. I have super pigmented lips, like especially on the top. My bottom lip is more like one color. My top lip is two-toned. So it's really important for me to have a very opaque lip color or else I just look funky. So this one, one swipe, you get really great pigmentation as you can see. And they have a ton of colors, but this one just happens to be my favorite. It's kind of this like corally orange type shade and it's called Lights Down. It's supposed to plump, but it just feels really nice. And I find it moisturizes really nicely as well. All right guys, so we're done with the makeup. I just have one other thing to share with you guys. And this is a perfume. This has been my favorite perfume ever since I got it. This is Guerlain's newest perfume. It's called Mon Guerlain and it smells freaking amazing. Oh my God, this smells so good. Like I took this with me to LA and literally me, Shaht and Isra were all wearing it cause it smelled so good. And they were like, I hate you. You're making me want to buy this expensive perfume now. Just smell it guys. You're going to fall in love with it. It is a beautiful scent. Like I think the notes are lavender, vanilla, peony and something else. Hmm? Jasmine. Jasmine, yeah, yeah. And Jasmine as well. It literally smells so Good, like do you smell that? Is it coming to you? I'm literally buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have it on Sephora right now? <laughs> She's literally on her phone searching the perfume. Everything you've been mentioning, I'm like, all right, let me just add this in my cart real quick. <laughs> oh my God, no, 
know guys it is it is amazing like you need to try this perfume and it's really cute like I just have I have a new like setup with my perfumes now and like it just looks so cute on the vanity sorry about the change but I literally was packing away everything and realized I totally forgot about these two things so I have some hair care to share as well. This is the, uh, they're both by Briogeo. This is the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. And this is the Don't Despair Repair Super Moisture Shampoo. I love these things. I'm actually gonna pick up another one of these hair masks cause it, you won't be able to see, but it is literally like completely done. I have like maybe two, one or two washes left. I love this stuff though. Like when you put it into your hair and wash it out, it literally like detangles it makes it so soft like so soft that like when it dries you still feel the softness and I really like it and then this shampoo I normally don't like using shampoos I've never found one that like doesn't make my hair feel like it's about to rip off once I rinse it out but this one's really good so um, both of these they don't have any sulfates silicones or parabens and they're just really great for the hair um, pretty much natural ingredients I think I don't know, they're just really good and I really like them. So if you are ever, I definitely like the um, conditioning, uh, deep conditioning mask more. They sell it at Sephora, I really love it and I would recommend it for my hair. Even though I don't show my hair, I still got hair under here peeps, okay? <laughs> that is it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna have my uh, wish list down below because I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be picking up yet other than another one of the Laneige lip, lip sleeping masks. So if you guys are nosy like me, you can check down below and I'll have my wish list as well as all of these products that I mentioned today linked down below. And yeah, I want to know what you guys are picking up. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up in the comments down below. Let me know if you're going to pick up any of my recommendations or if you have any recommendations for me, definitely let me know as well. Last VIB sale, I picked up a lot of your recommendations and fell in love with them. So let me know guys, let's have a conversation uh, full of beauty lovers and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy my new setup and I will talk to you. Ooh, actually subscribe before you leave. If you're not subscribed already, don't be shady. Okay, don't be shady, just subscribe, please. <laughs> and give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see my Sephora VIB sale haul. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone. Mwah. Say bye, Sarah. Bye guys. <laughs>